first at 6 o'clock this Thursday. The Myrtle Beach Police Department hopes to soon hire more officers. And while Chief Amy Prock and Mayor Brenda Bethune say that the summer was a success as far as major crime offenses go, they both agree the department is understaffed. And News 13's Taylor Hernandez shares this story live tonight from the police department. Good evening, Taylor. Well, Bob, Megan, one officer who spoke in front of council today says he sees himself career Myrtle Beach police officer, but he also said that this past summer was the most draining of his law enforcement career. Why can you make this past summer such a success at the individual officer's level is not sustainable going forward. A record summer for tourism and a decrease of reported major crimes in Myrtle Beach. There's a lot of noise and a lot of fake media outlets trying to paint a much different picture, but the fact that we have record numbers of people here. Our violent crimes, our Portland crimes have been down double digits four years in a row. And for a season as busy as we've had, and there not to be any increases, that's the story that needs to be told. Doesn't mean officers like PFC Ron Chambers got to take it easy. Post for service have remained consistent throughout the years despite being down 50 55 police officers. This shows we're doing more work in 2021 with less officers. More work means more stress. Something Captain Eric DiLorenzo says can take a toll. They're un under an enormous amount of stress just from day to day. If you tack on, um, you know, the national sentiment, the demands that they have is just simply for being a, a Myrtle Beach police officer. Captain DiLorenzo says while they already have mental health physicians they refer officers to and peer support groups, they want to create an officer wellness program to change the culture of MVPD. There's still a stigma attached to talking to a mental health professional. Um, officers are worried about the implications of that. If they do share, may they not be deemed fit for duty. This isn't about that. This is about them having a safe place where they can uh, unpack some of that stress, talk in a very safe environment. Something they believe will help recruit and retain officers. In this story right now over on WBTW.com, you can see how Captain DiLorenzo says they streamlined the hiring process for Myrtle Beach police officers to get more officers onboarded and hired faster. For now, though, I'm live in Myrtle Beach for News 13. I'm Taylor Hernandez.